Hey, 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 Big H Trucking coming to you from Montana, not Carhartt, coming to you from Montana. It is absolutely me spinning you guys around. Absolutely magnificent. Incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys ever get a chance to go out west as a trucker? Please do it. It's just, it's mind blowing, it's breathtaking. Um,. Believe it or not, I've got some cam footage, dash cam footage, which I'm going to be posting segments of it throughout the next few days on going through the mountains. So they're all silent films. There's no voiceover because I don't know how to do voiceover. Um, I do have the microphone on my dash cam so you'll get to hear, you know, the, the whining of the engine, but I'm not talking. Um... I'm trying to do this without being distracted. My camcorder runs 24 seven anyway, so I'm also take segments out of it and uh, post it on YouTube. It's middle of May and it's still winter up here. Um, it is actually 28 degrees as I sit at this rest stop trying to get my, you know, on my half hour break. And uh, I drove through snow this morning in the mountains. And that wasn't snowing, but it snowed yesterday because some of the roads were still kind of got a little slippery there. But uh, yeah, winter doesn't want to release its grip out here. It's, it's just incredible it, that it's so late in the season. It's the, I mean, damn near summertime and there's still snow. Incredible. Um, having a good time. A long trip, 2,465 miles. Averaging about 550, 560 a day. That's all my clock will allow me to run. Um, I am killing my clock, per se. Like, I don't have any extra time left over when I'm done driving. But I do get back time every night. The good news is that um, this load is, is going to be offloaded tomorrow at 5 o'clock West Coast time, which means uh, it's Wednesday, and that means I'm going to start the week off with a big fat check. So that's awesome. Now you have another five days, you know, another week before the pay period ends. So I should be able to get another load or two out of it. Depends on how he gets me back to the East Coast because ultimately I'm going home next Wednesday. Um, so we'll see how he runs me. But he's got to run me carefully and I'll work with him on that. I don't know if he looks at my, I don't know if fleet managers look at your clock not when he has like over 100 trucks on his uh, board. Maybe if you're newer, he, he'll take a glance. Again, I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, because there's times I said, listen, you know, this is what I got left on my, on my clock. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. So, which leads me to believe he's not monitoring every driver on his board's clock each and every day. So um, I'll work with him on that. Hopefully he can get me another load out of coming out of Washington back out to Pennsylvania and it'll take me another five days or so to get out there. Um, that'll be fine. And uh, go home with a big, big, big fat check. So, But I'm glad I took the ride. I was kind of apprehensive about doing it. Um, as I've been stuck in this truck for nine hours, nine and a half, ten hours some days. Um, I like to go and drive and deliver and pick up and go and drive and deliver. But hey, it's just a change of pace. The money's really good. And um, I get to see this beautiful country. This is what, this is God's country out here. The West Coast is definitely, in my opinion, blows out, blows away the East Coast. Blows it away. Just the, so, the scenes, the scenic, the scenery, the mountains, the snow caps, it's just, <clears throat> it's breathtaking. So anyway, I just want to make a quick big video, a quick short video. Big H is heading towards Washington State. I got another 250 miles before I get to my final, uh, my last truck stop, my last fueling. Um, that's where I'm going to spend the night. Then from there, I've got about 290 miles to the 90, which doesn't deliver till five o'clock tomorrow night. But um, along the way, I'm going to be dropping clips off my camcorder. I figured out how to crop it. Put segments out that I think are, you know, it's, there's no sounds, not me talking, 
and you definitely hear engine sounds and jake brakes because my camcorder like i said runs 24 7. i did never shut off the microphone but you're not going to hear my raspy voice talking about anything um but i think it's great footage and you know why not use the footage and show you guys who are not truck drivers or those of you who want to become truck drivers what the west coast or the west the western part of the united states looks like i'm on the northern end of it i'm on route 90 interstate 90 which runs the the top part of the united states versus going 80 which is more like mm, higher than the middle but closer to the middle of the country and you can run 40 you can run 20 you can run 10 all that stuff that's the southern parts but the 90 up here is absolutely like i said it's breathtaking god if you guys like scenery this is the road to take and if you're ever into rving or something you want to do with your family one day i would suggest plenty of places to stay with your rv uh, tr uh the rest stops are tremendous so why not take that trip anyway i'm out hope everybody's well um we have nothing else to report so I figured I'd make a quick video because I got reception. And while I'm sitting here on my half hour break, uh, let me upload it to the YouTube. So until the next video, look out for my cam, my dash cam footage. Three minutes, five minutes here and there. And this is just a drive along, silent films. But till next video, stay safe, make good decisions. We'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.